Okay. Hopefully everything's good now. Shoot. Um, okay, we're back. If I'm not back for everyone, maybe everyone just refresh. Weird. See, I want to... I'm worried. Every time I play this game, I'm having... I didn't think I was dropping any frames, though. It's back. Thank you for letting me know, everyone. I just quickly, um... I think the stream had basically died, so I just hit end stream. Um, and then rebooted. Hi! It's so weird. I don't think I was dropping any frames there. Does anyone know if it was, like, buffering a lot leading up to it or dropping frames? Or did it just sort of happen out of the blue? Out of the sort of blue. Oh, thank you so much, Sky. Thank you for popping that message in chat. Just randomly died. I'm gonna hope that doesn't have to do with the game then. Because I wasn't dropping anything leading up to it. Weird. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm. That was so weird. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Very sudden? Okay. Yeah, because uh, last time when I was having issues with this game running, that was before I lowered the resolution and the graphics and everything. We were- it was very noticeable. It was- that was the reason. We were just dropping frames, the game was lagging, it was horrible leading up to it. So maybe- That's actually good, it happened out of the blue. <laughs> maybe it was a Twitch thing. I hope it's not the game, I hope so. I- I've- I'm still so new to this game, I- I haven't quite figured out, like... I don't know. I don't know how much I can push the boundaries with trying to run this game. Even on the lowest resolution, it seems to be a bit choppy at times, but it's not horrible. Like, I think I could play the whole game like this and it'd be fine. Greet Nora Child. What's wrong with those kids' faces? Do they look silly? I didn't get a good look at them. I don't know, just kids, man. They ain't looking right. Something's fishy here. Speaking of fish, the fishing minigame? Okay. I won't push. Nice transition pick. I know, that actually was really smooth. That worked out perfectly. Speaking of fish, <laughs> that wasn't even planned. It's like I literally just turned. I was like, oh. Fishing rods. Sick. The sacred land is my home. I never want to leave it. See, it's just little dialogue like this isn't too important. I think if someone has something interesting to say to you, they'll have a marker over their head, maybe. I don't think I'm gonna get a cutscene out of like a random NPC. Fish. <laughs> um see this person has something under their head over their head oh merchant yes uh treasure box free sample box sick um okay now how do i uh open my free sample boxes <coughs> i think here Still trying to get a feel for the controls. Ammo packs. Ooh, I can um, increase the size of my weapon satchel. But I think I have some meat that I have to do for the side quest I'm actively trying to do. So I'm not going to activate these just yet. Where's my travel pouch? Traps! Wait, not traps. Ammo, special items... Metal flower. A rare metal flower prized by collectors. Trade sets of them in uh, Meridian for valuable rewards. What's Meridian? Um, resource supply box. Must be open to reveal its contents. Okay, so I just won't automatically have things added to my inventory. I've got to open them. Box holding the items of a seasoned crafter. Okay, what do I get um, from these boxes? Ooh, you get pretty good things from the the packs from the merchants. Fast travel pack. Nice. Cool. So I found this merchant. Any other side quests here? I just don't want to leave a place if, um... You know, there's anything I could do here. 
No, it doesn't look like it. I think the game would let me know. Um, I hope you all don't mind me, like, scrolling through the menu so much. I'm still trying to understand this. Side quest. Um, main. Okay. Open errands. So well, I'm trying to do this one right now. Um. Activities. Oh my gosh, there's so many things to do. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'll try doing, just before I continue with the main story, just try clearing off whatever side quests I have. Um, at Mother's Crown. Where the heck is that again? Like it. Yeah. Mother's Crown. Mother's Watch. I bought my mother a watch for her birthday, I think. Me and Ada split on a watch, a smart watch for her. No, it was Christmas. Mother's Heart. Mother's Crown. Okay, so that's where I was at in the main story. That's a side quest all the way up there. So that's a future issue. So I think this is all I have to do in this area. Talk to Grata, and then I think this whole lower area is pretty cleared out. Good daughters, Vic and Ada. Heck yeah, we try our best. Oh, does anyone have any exciting plans for Mother's Day coming up? I always forget. Those holidays come so quickly. Okay, so next we're gonna... Um, do the side quests. And then we're gonna visit Ross Grave and go home. Horizon Zero Bots. <laughs> oh, are we getting a lot of those, lur those lurky bots? Yeah, the game's running okay now. Yeah, I, I, usually it's pretty obvious on Streamlabs when you drop frames. Like, it, the program lets you know. So I think that was just a weird stream uh, Twitch crash and buffering issue. I think streams just die for some reason on Twitch. Whee! Gosh, this game is pretty. Even on the lowest setting, it's so pretty. Oh, our bots! Oh! First moment after the rain. The first moment after the rain. That's so beautiful, Aloy. You're not wrong, though. It's always so nice after a fresh rainfall. And, like, the air just feels so nice and fresh. Should I take out some enemies? I got some cool tricks. I can lure them over to me and take them out one by one. So you don't, you know, capture all of their attention. Look at my cool trick. Well, let me practice this. So I can target all of them. I'm starting to understand all the tricks. I saw this in a YouTube video. It said you should really, be, like, utilize this, like, feature. Like, my focus thing that she has on her ear on her ear is really cool. Okay, and then I can lure one over to me and stealth kill him. Ah, it's kind of stressful, though. And then I take him out stealthily, and none of his friends will know. What are you gonna take them out to? Um. Did the game kill your stream? I don't think it was the game. I think it was just a Twitch thing. I hope so, anyway. See, none of his friends know. Feels so evil. <laughs> it's just a, it is what it is. Life is like this sometimes. In. A, in a post-apocalyptic world. You just gotta do what you gotta do. Uh-oh, his friend's coming to check out the scene. Okay. You want a piece of me? Okay. You're gonna regret it. Hey, no. Come back. <laughs> He's like, what the heck is that? Charge up uh, shots in this game? What do you mean, like shooting? I don't know, it makes me nervous. I feel like I just don't have good aim. Is that what you mean? That the, I don't understand the combat too much. Uh, there is like a, a wheel where I choose my items. How do I select it? Um, 
How there is a oh, there we go. So it seems like this is sort of in real time. Like if I have enemies chasing me, it slows down a bit, but it doesn't completely pause it. So I don't have arrows, so you can craft directly from This is like your selection menu, I guess. I'll make some arrows. Okay. And then I think I can go into my settings and uh shoot. And switch out what items I have here based on which ones I use most. I don't know, I've always just done the stealth attack. Let me just craft everything I can. Okay, I can craft that. Yeah, I should play around with this more. I can make bombs, but I've never used a bomb. I mean, I, I guess I should just craft anything I can. That makes sense. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Hide, girl. Oh, I'm holding a bomb. Should I throw a bomb at it? No. Oh my gosh, don't bomb it. Stressful. What the heck was that? Ah, uh, how did I... I think, yeah, just standard bow and arrow is the main thing I want equipped. But I do know there's, for every weapon you get, there's like a little tutorial errand that shows you how to use a weapon, and you get... You get some perks for that, I think. So I should do that today as well. Um, hello, welcome back! Brutal. Oh! I don't know what I just did. I tried to lure him over to me. Oh, I have rocks in my... I have to look at the bottom left. Oh god, that did not go well for me. That did not go well for me. My, my D-pad, I had the wrong thing. Oh no. Stress. Is anyone else sus? No. Charge up um, shots in Breath of the Wild with arrows. Ooh, when you hold the arrow down or something. I think Zelda. No, you're good. No, not at all. You're not backseating at all. You're totally good, Joel. No worries. Oh, yeah, I saw you tweeted. You're more excited for Xenoblade than um, Breath of the Wild right now, which is so valid. I know this series means a lot to you. And we haven't... Zelda's been so hush-hush. We haven't gotten anything about it. So it does kind of make the excitement go down a little bit. I'm so excited for you, Joel. Welcome back, Mimi. We're doing some stealth kills right now. You're ruthless. I know I'm a cold-blooded killer. <laughs> I had chili. Nice. That sounds good. You failed on the hype skill. No, you're good. I'd be lying if I said my hype for Breath of the Wild 2 um, didn't like go down a ton until we... Why does the music get scary? Until we get a new announcement. Like, every time I have my my hype for Breath of the Wild 2 has been at its peak is when we get like a new announcement or like a teaser trailer. And then other than that, I'm just kind of over it. Until we hear anything else, you know, there's only so much you can like speculate over and stuff. No, no, I haven't. What, what was it? What's the news? So the plan right now is a... Uh... Jeez. This area is dangerous. Why'd he run away? He was suspicious of me. What's that sensor he's doing? I get... That's another thing I should practice um, getting used to. Notebooks, I think, tell you about everything you come across. So I think these are all the, the animals I've seen. Or monsters. Uh, okay. So, what are these giant sensors they're doing? <clears throat> so this is a scrapper. Okay. So if I go to this... Um, scrapper. I think it tells you about them. Okay. Laser to put up a formable defense. Hard outer ca uh, casing to protect synthetic muscle and operational systems. Gotcha. 
Should I lure him over? If I start walking, he's gonna attack me. And I can go the long way. Oh, duck. <gasps> really? It's pretty obvious, though. I'm down to hear about it. Um, yeah, maybe forewarning in chat. If people, like, don't want a potential Nintendo rumor leaked for them. Maybe, like, click away for a moment and then come back. Oops. But I'm down to know if you want to say it in chat. I'll probably forget to look into it on my own time, if I'm being honest. So is it confirmed, though? Are, oh, is there going to be a new system or something? And this feature is so cool, seeing all the enemies around you. It's just that, dude. So even if he sees me, that's like not really a stressful kill. See, that's what I tried to do last time and I threw a rock at him. <laughs> oh, I should probably heal. He's scary. I don't like him. R1. Silent strike. Oh my gosh, I'm a cold-blooded killer. <laughs> so satisfying, though. Should I kill the turkey? No. Medicine. I think I have to kill the turkey. I, like, do be needing more meat, to be honest, in this game. I'm sad about it, but, uh... It makes me kind of sad, but it's not real animals. It's okay. I've I've saw in the videos. It's like you've got to kill all the cute little critters you see, because you you'll need their like bones and the meat and stuff for crafting. Rip turkey. Ah, look at the lighting. And again, we're on the lowest setting. Gonna need this. I want to bump up the resolution, but that my stream like did not even have it for a second. <laughs> look, does <laughs> doesn't that look like Vavrudania? It's so wild. A lot of this game does remind me of Breath of the Wild. Just like being in the future and like the advanced machinery that like went to the dark side. When you take away like Aloy's backstory, a lot of like the, you know, the game is actually kind of like Breath of the Wild. It's basically machines that were built to like, I think, for good. And then they're, they're corrupted. It's so wild. Yeah, and then we saw when we, um, you can, we can take over them and make them good and ride them and stuff. Um, we were doing that last stream, and then they have a blue light. But when they're corrupted, they have a red light. So it's just like Breath of the Wild, which is cool. We're made for good, right? Okay, so what am I trying to do right now? I'm trying to do the side quest first, because I think... Yeah, it's on the way to Ross house, and then we're going back to Ro where I started the game. Cause I wanna, I wonder if something happens if I like pay tribute to his grave or something. Oh gosh, there's a person there. Are they good or are they bad? I can't tell what's going on here. Oh, that's not a person. Oh snap, I'm not in a good spot. I don't know how I would not seen. Stress. <coughs> These uh, glowing points you're picking up. It's essentially just like a bunch of resources. So I guess foraging is really big in this game. You pick up medicine, you pick up things to craft with. I'm not in a good spot. That's okay, we're just gonna... We gotta practice our skills. This is a cool feature. It just breaks them up a little bit. So satisfying. I don't want to kill too many though because my pouches are full, I think. That literally looks like Death Mountain froze over. And that's Vavrudania. But triplets. One, two, three. Nice. Should, I, should we try again? With this one? Oh my gosh, that one's scary. That one's scary. Oh, so 
stressful. Silent strike. Yeah, so you, you see I have a couple of options. I can, it says override, and then I think I could basically turn them good, and then the light will go blue, and then um, they're just like harmless in the wild. See, that one though has blue light, but if I walk by it, I think it will get aggressive. I think I can override them and like fully bring them to my side. Oh, I don't like the nighttime. It's so scary. Nice bots. Yeah, it was so cute. I was riding like a robot horse in the last stream. <clears throat> I want to do the side quest. Can I just work my way around? I don't want to fight all of them. Oh yeah, we were all talking about Mother's Day earlier. Um... But yeah, do any of you have any Mother's Day plans? I'm sorry if I... I could... Let me all tab out. Because I feel like I probably did miss a lot of chat. Um, Wind Waker is one of your... Oh, wait! And you were probably talking about um the Nintendo thing. Let me just scroll up a bit. Um, Mas, we know what we must do. Um, oh, they got these enemies to wear at the park. I would love to take them on a picnic. Uh... Yeah, sorry again if I'm missing chat. It's just harder just to scroll up right now. Wind Waker. Oh, where does Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD are coming to Switch as soon as fall? I believe it. I believe it. Zero. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yes. Yeah. Because I, I, with Breath of the Wild 2 being delayed, I've seen so many people speculate online how they've got to give us something, right? I feel like that's been in the talks for a while. But do you think there's a good chance that's happening for sure? Oh my gosh, I would love to play those on Switch. That'd be perfect. You've never played Twilight Princess? Twilight Pri I, I was so long ago, I'd have to go back and see if it still holds, like, the title for me. But Twilight Princess is one of my favorite, if not, like, my favorite video games of all time. It was so cool. Like, it kind of feels like what Ocarina of Time, like, wanted to be in its time. Like, it was, a lot of it was a lot like Ocarina of Time, but then obviously there's a whole new layer to it. Um, and like whole new, a bunch of new lore and stuff. I'm so excited. The Guardians, uh, were also made for good true. Scared me in Breath of the Wild. You always, uh, change the time, really? I, I didn't mind the nighttime in Breath of the Wild. I find in this game it feels spooky. Um, hi Brian, how's it going? Pet the bots. Twilight Princess is such a good story, and it was really moving, like, it made me cry in the end. And it was so- it was such a good story. It was so good. I'm having so much fun just exploring. I think that there's so much content in this game, I do think I'll start grinding okay. some side quests off stream. Because there's so much to this game, it's not like, you know, everyone be, would be missing that much. Because I'll still have so many side quests to do on stream. When games make me feel things. I gotta be honest, I didn't think I was going to get that from Breath of the Wild. But this is like my fourth day playing it. And uh, it's it's really fascinating and really fun. Just like the exploration. Oh gosh, I'm about to be seen, I think. Shoot. Does someone else need help who's not going to... Who's just going to ignore me afterwards? I feel like someone's yelling somewhere. A game to punch me and make me cry. Yeah, Twilight Princess. The I think it was like the post credit scene. Bro, it's your sister, Olara. Excuse you. Where is this person? Is that gonna be a side quest? I want to talk to NPCs. Oh, there's someone right here. Good for an old remedy. Yeah, and Twilight Princess had some really cool um, dungeons. And really cool areas. Oh no, you lost your sister? It seems like only yesterday you were outcast. And now, you're a seeker. Oh. Who's yelling? I feel like that's gotta be a side quest. Someone lost someone. I don't see anyone other than you. And it wasn't Rob, you. Can you hear me? 
Why do I feel like someone's literally right beside me? That's so loud. Oh, it's someone up there! Wow, you have a powerful yell. Side quest! You love that one so much. Wind Waker, I, and I've yet to beat Wind Waker. I got really into it, and then I just put it down, because I think I got busy with something, and I never picked it up again. I got pretty close oh, to the end of the game. It's Alara. Okay, I'm coming, Alara. You can make them? The pitfall's nice! They're fun. <clears throat> the, when games make you feel things, yeah. Ooh, fun! I'm gonna have to scale up! Parkour! I do like the climbing in this game. Look how fun this is. It's your fave. I remember I played it after Twilight Princess and it was such a refreshing change. It was so bright and colorful. I just can't, like, you know, you can't help but just like smile and feel good when you play it. And I think out of all the games I've played, it's like the most animated Link for sure. He was so expressive. Come on, girl, climb. You've got this. I'm stuck. Jump! I don't even know how to let go. Okay, there we go. I was just hanging there. When you learn the recipe? When you bury an item and later get the item out. Really? I did not know that. That's so neat. That's actually really neat. I did not know that. Oh, why can't I get up there? Okay, we'll get there eventually. Wind Waker, yeah. I remember definitely feeling things in Wind Waker. Um, I don't want to, like, spoil too much. I don't, actually don't even remember the details of it anyway. But, uh, I really like the characters, like the, you know, the uh, Makar and, uh... Who was the bird? The Rita one, the girl. Medley. And it's really cool when you take them to their temples and, like, they become sages. And I loved beating their temples. I never beat the Makar Temple, but I beat the Medley Temple. And when you like, you play the songs and at the end, it was so like wholesome. It made me emotional, I don't know why. You love them. I remember really liking Medley, she was so cool. And then they awaken as sages. I hope there's some sort of like sage element to Breath of the Wild too. I've heard rumors that apparently there are going to be, like there was some sort of Breath of the Wild leak at one point. Please, that, seemed, that seemed pretty credible. And I think they're going to bring something back with sages, whether it's like Ocarina of Time sages or what. But yeah, I mean, we got the champions, but like, I, I kind of like the sages. I don't know. Okay, hello. Side quest. Maybe. Do you need help? You're I think... the one who survived the proving. Yes, I do need help. Ten years ago, my brother was cast out. His sentence ended, but he didn't come back. His camp was empty. And covered in blood. Yikes. No, I love it, Joel. It's really neat. I kind of want to try out... Um, I think I... I don't know if I'll do it before 3, but I think I would like to try out the games one day. I, I like seeing your stuff on it. It looks really interesting. To have my island. That's so funny, Ryan. No, no need to be sorry. It's it's so exciting seeing friends like excited about things. I love seeing you tweet about it. A learning curve. <coughs> it's like a JRPG type of game, right? So like a lot of R RPG elements. It seems really good though. The story seems good. No, I love it. I love it, Joel. Blood! From someone on YouTube? Oh, that's awesome, Brian. Was he on his cycle? <laughs> yeah, I agree. I, I'm in the same boat. I wouldn't know that much if it wasn't for you, Joel, which is really exciting. Oh, I would love to try it one day. Covered in blood. You, um, <clears throat> you said your brother's camp was soaked with blood? The Braves went looking for him, and, and that's what they found. All I can think about is what might have happened. Is he really dead? Or maybe just wounded? Is he suffering? Does he need help? I can't stand it not knowing. Why are you out here what alone? What are you doing out here all alone? 
Each day I cut a notch on the wall so I knew Brahm's sentence was over. Then I cut three more, but he still hadn't come back. I begged the matriarchs to send braves to find him, and all they found was a blood-soaked camp. The braves said he must be dead, but I have to know the truth. So I came out looking for him. I've never played Final Fantasy either. I own 10, like the I think the remastered or the HD. Whichever one was on sale on Steam like a, a while back or probably quite often. It was like a little bundle, I think. I think that would be my first one. Like a more modern one to get into the series. I've heard good things about 10. Um Yeah, I've heard they're really good. Um very many either. Ten is very pretty and abandoned it. That's totally valid. I always make jokes with my sister because she's not like a huge gamer, but we did grow up playing like my GameCube together. Um and then she uh got into a uh, Final Fantasy Ten. I forget how she played it. We've never had like a a PlayStation or anything. I don't know, I think she played it on like a friend's PlayStation and she got- that was like her first like- one of her first games that wasn't mine that she got really into on her own that I knew nothing about. And then I think when <clears throat> her and like- her partner got together and moved out together, he has like a PlayStation and they have- they bought their own copy. <clears throat> so I think she just played up to where like where she was. And we always joke because she's been grinding Final Fantasy on and off for probably like well over 10 years and we always make jokes like, ah. Oh, How's your Final Fantasy playthrough going? Because she's so busy. I think she'll like pick it up once every few months. And she's like, oh, I'm stuck at such a grindy part. And it's like, she's like, I don't have the time to just go and fight people. Because <laughs> those games are so grindy. <clears throat> and I think she said she like maybe messed something up. Which I've heard can happen in like Final Fantasy X in games like that. Where she was supposed to grind more like leading up to a certain fight. And now she's having a difficult time like backtracking and she's under leveled or something like that i don't know i have to ask her but <clears throat> typically in like games i don't know i'm i'm on the fence about grinding 10 is your fave slays my um 500th uh moblin 500th moblin the rise and grind i'm typically not into grinding nino kuni was like i think the the most rpg type of game i played to this day and I remember getting, like, pretty annoyed at how frequent, like, you had to get into little fights and how I had to spend time off stream, like, building HP and and stuff like that. Sorry, not HP. Like, XP. It was, it was, like, it became quite tedious. But I know some people live for the grind. You live for the grind? I love it, though. I could see the appeal to it. I, t I like grinding more in terms of, like, um, finding things and achievement hunting. And like side quests, I I like grinding in that sense. But when you're like in, doing back to back little fights, I usually don't like that. But I'm not a huge combat person, so if you if you like combat and like the satisfaction of like fighting and leveling up, I could see the appeal to grinding for sure. That you've killed a character <laughs> slays my hundredth moblin, right? That's such a mood. Fire emblem is so good. It can get sad. I would love to play Fire Emblem one day. I like games where you get like attached to the characters and then um it like rips your heart out and you become emotionally damaged. <laughs> like I love the pain. If you know what I mean. It's a good feeling to get so attached to characters cuz then you just know you like love them and they were well made. Pokémon. I'm excited to play Arceus <laughs> and then I'd like to try more of like the traditional Pokémon's down the road. Gen 9 is a fall. I'm so behind on gens. I feel like anything after Gen 1 and Gen 2, I'm so lost. Skyrim. I would love to try Skyrim one day. I think I would like it. I've been looking into Elden Ring lore a bit more, too. I know I said I have been here and there, but, like, I've been watching a lot of people stream it, and it looks good. Like, I, I think if I ever try a Souls game, I think I would want to try Elden Ring. <laughs> Three houses. And that that's on Switch, too, right? That's good to know. Scarlet and Violet, right? And that's coming out with a new game. And that's like the first official open world Pokemon game, right? I think I'm going to get Scarlet and Violet. It looks really good based on the trailer we got. Oh yeah, and there was like the cute little starters. I forgot about that. 
Okay, let's see what she says. Um, your brother's crime. Why was your brother cast out? Rom was always a little different. A little touched. One of the hunters had a cruel heart and never let him alone. I was gone but an hour, and the hunter said after him like always, but this time, Brahm struck back with a rock and split the man's skull. Yikes. Spirits made him do it, he said. Whispers of the forgotten. It cost him ten years. Yikes. I never should have left him alone. That's okay. I'll look for your brother. Oh, the forgotten. What do you mean forgotten? All mother curses blasphemers who won't repent, banishing them from her eternal memory. Those lost spirits are the forgotten. Brahm used to say they spoke to him, told him to do things. It was such a burden for him, and, and there was nothing I could do to help. Mm, okay. I'll do what I can to find your brother. You will? Then let me come with you. I won't be a bother. I know how to stay out of sight. I'm faster on my own. If that is how it must be, just find him then. Please. <coughs> Side quest time. Heck yeah. Open the menu quest. Uh, oh. Oh, and then that's going to replace my quest with this though. But that's okay. It's Everything's in this general area anyway. Um, Side quest. The Forgotten. And I think it gives you a recommended level that you should be. So it says level 4. And I think I'm currently level 9. Because this is like in the starting area. And I'm just backtracking right now. Cool, this is so exciting. I love how all of this is laid out in the game. It just makes me want to go for like full completion. Your first and only tattoo. Skyrim, it meant so much to you. That's incredible. That's so special when like a game or a series like really moves you to that point. Oop, okay. Wee. Um. Ha! Huh, untamed. Welcome. Hello. How's it going? Welcome on in, everyone. How is your stream? Welcome on in. Um, untamed and raiders. I'm Twinkly Tor. It's so nice to meet everyone. Hello. You can't uh, chain the untamed. I love that. How the heck was your stream? Welcome on in, everyone. It's so nice to meet you all. Uh, yeah, again, I'm Twinkly Tor. I'm a variety streamer doing a first ever Horizon Zero Dawn playthrough. Sort of just doing um, side things. Still very early in game. So we're just doing side quests and having good chats and things. Um, but I hope you had a really good stream. And I appreciate you bringing everyone on over. Hello. Uh, I Oh, how was your Horizon Zero Dawn playthrough? Is it a first playthrough as well? You just finished the game? It was your first two? Oh my gosh, I love that. That's so exciting. I hope it was um really fun and a really good ending. Of course, no spoilers or anything because I'm doing a first playthrough, but I hope you had a really fun time with it. I've heard nothing but good things about how the game and how it wraps up. And um, thank you so much for the follow, CMDR. Thank you. Let me just catch up on chat a bit. I really appreciate you bringing your community on over, though, and thank you, Raiders, for supporting Untamed. Um... If any of you do have to step away or anything like that after stream. Um, oh, what the heck? Where did I go? I do be gone. One sec. There I am. Sorry, I just got a stream deck. I'm like just clicking a bunch of buttons. <laughs> but um, I hope you had a really good stream. And if any of you have to step away and get any like food or anything, then please make sure you're all taking care of yourselves. Um, let me just catch up on chat a bit. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. I guess I could go back to the game, actually. Yeah, I've heard Three Houses is really good. It hits different, yeah, and then to carry a game with you that you love so much is such a good feeling. Yeah, and even just coming in, we're kind of talking about, like, video games we've played and ones that, like, really stuck with us. And how cool it is to have, like, a video game that, like, really means a lot to you and stands out to you. You'll always remember it very fondly. Sheesh, now I really want to play um, Skyrim. I've heard good things about it. Apparently the lore in the story is really good. Armor character, nice. 
And congrats on beating Horizon Zero Dawn. That's a really, really big ac accomplishment. And I hope you had fun with it. Hi, Puck Champ. Hello. Hello, hello. And it's so nice to see everyone. No, I, I didn't think you would, uh, Untamed. I know, especially as a streamer, I'm sure you didn't want, you know. I didn't expect you to, like, come in like, this is how the game ends. You wanted to cry and be mad and happy and everything. It was too good. That sounds so incredible. Uh, and I don't know if you, um, uh, did, like, a a lot of achievement hunting or if you sort of just like beelined it through the main story but i'm sure it was so satisfying nonetheless the end of this is a perfect setup for forbidden west Ooh, really that's exciting are you gonna jump into forbidden west next or just take your time with it what game stuck with you i i haven't played a whole bunch of games in my life i've i grew up playing my gamecube and i just replayed a lot of the same games and now thanks to Twitch, I've sort of been diving into like experiencing a lot of new series for the first time. But Legend of Zelda has my heart. And we were talking about how out of the ones I've played, Twilight Princess was really, it's just a really, really special story. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have any, any like specific games that like, I'm like, that's my favorite game forever. But it's a really cool feeling when you like a game really sticks out to you. What about you guys, if anyone wants to chime in? I miss you, thank you. Me just clicking all these buttons on my stream deck all the time. For your gameplay? So you have to wait? Yeah, see that's like me. I don't have a like a PlayStation or anything like that, and I, I don't really have plans to get one. So I'll hold off on Forbidden West, but that's okay. Hopefully we get it sooner rather than later to PC. Much to look forward to. That's so exciting. Glinga tends to stick with me. You beeline the story. Finish in 20 hours? That's so impressive. See, I, I thought I was going to do that, and then I just started getting really... really interested in the story, and now I'm I'm going for some side quests. I So we actually just did... um. Uh, what's it called? We did a 100% Breath of the Wild playthrough a few months ago that took like 10 months. I just really like achievement hunting in games, and I'm kind of feeling the itch to 100% Horizon Zero Dawn, which I heard can will will likely go well over 100 hours. So it's interesting to see both sides, because I've heard the main story, you can finish it pretty fast. 20 hours is, is impressive. Now that's so exciting, though. I'm so excited to get more into the main story. You tend to speedrun your playthroughs all by accident. You get carried away with the main story missions? That's so neat. I love hearing that because I, I feel like I play games uh, completely opposite. Like I always tell myself I want to I wanna just- Oh shoot! I always tell myself I want to just focus on the main story. I want to get my backlog rolling. And then I, I literally can't. I always want to just like end up 100%ing. So it's cool to see both sides. Because I, I feel like focusing on a main story would be really neat for like take- You know. Everything stays fresh in your mind. When I kind of take breaks to do side quests, it takes you out of it a bit sometimes. You played Breath of the Wild as well? Nice! Open world games are so fun. Why can't I collect this? Hello? I'm so confused. It's not giving me the option to collect this. Hello? Shot. That's so weird. Why is it not giving me the option to collect that? Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Ah! Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. That's another reason I'm trying to do side quests. This combat. Oh, I died. Okay. This combat is kind of stressful, so I'm trying to go back to the main area and just level up a bit before I go through the main story. Um, are you going out to eat? Uh,. No worries, Joel. Dragon Age? Oh, I've heard good things. I've heard good things. And Untamed, thank you so much for that follow. I'm you seem so nice and your community seems so nice. Um I'll definitely be sure to to drop you a follow back and to come hang out there and get to know you and your community. That's so exciting. Yeah, it's so neat how you can really make a playthrough your own and do what you want with it. Like a 20 hour playthrough is pretty quick, and then if I do like a hundred percent, it's probably gonna be over a hundred hours. It's just two different experiences with the same game, which is really neat. How do I drop down? 
to have good noms. That's my genre, um, open world RPG. They're so much fun. Breath of the Wild was the first game I played like that, the first open world game. And I, I loved my, um, oh, I loved my time with it so much. And I'm noticing a lot of overlap with this game. So I, I think open world might, might be one of my favorite types of genres as well. Okay, can I interact with this now? Why can't I interact with this? That is so weird. Oh, it disappeared. Okay. Oh, of course. Of course. I love making new friends here. I appreciate you um bringing your community here so much. Assuming you found us through um through the category playing Horizon Zero Dawn as well. I really appreciate you choosing our community to bring everyone over to. And um everyone's in safe hands here. You're awesome. You're awesome. Same with Elder Scrolls? Yeah! Elder- so, is Elder- this might be a silly question. Elder Scrolls and, uh... What's the other one we were just talking about? Skyrim, are those considered soul games? Or are they the same makers? Or are they not related at all? I feel like they all have a similar art style. Um, and Dragon Age is insane? Really? I didn't know Dragon Age had good lore. I love a game with good lore. Three complete playthroughs? Really? And that's the cool thing about this um, CMDR. I've heard a lot of people go back and like play it over a ton and do things differently. Where was I trying to go again? I'm trying to go do the quest. Yeah, so I should follow that. Do I have the new quests pinned? Oh, my bad. Show on map. Gosh, that is so out of the way. So you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to... Where the heck is the Greta one? Oh, it's an errand. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to do this first because it's closer. <clears throat> but yeah, this game probably has a lot of, like, replay value, I'd imagine. Especially if you want to do a quick playthrough and then go back and achievement hunt. And do different difficulties as well. You definitely play Horizon Zero Dawn again. I'm liking my time with it. I'm excited to, to get more into the main story. Okay, I don't know why I'm always crouching. There's not much going on here. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I am. So we'll, we'll do the main quest that I was focusing on first. Just a, a few quirks. You don't like really, Gore? And welcome on in, Gore. I'm glad you like the game, though. I could see that. And I think... And I think that's, like, a healthy mindset and, like, relationship to have with a game you like. Because... I think sometimes when people like games and they so much they refuse to notice any flaws about it. You know? It just... I, I think it's... It shows you really love a game when you can, like, say, hey, I love this game, but, um... I think there are certain things that they could have done differently. So that's totally valid. Um, the game does glitch out a bit. Not let you pick stuff up. Oh, I wonder if that's on the game as a whole or when it was like ported to PC. I've noticed some little buggy things here and there. I th assumed it was on my end because I, I, I'm playing it on like the lowest resolution. Because um, when I played it, Otherwise, I was dropping, like, mad frames, and my PC was having a bit of a hard time running it because it's so nice and, like, high res. So I assumed it was maybe just on my end, but uh, I, I do think there are some little, some buggy things in the game. Commander! Okay. Sterion is fine. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Cause I was like, CMDR. Commander, that makes sense. Sterion, Commander. Do you have a preference or just either or? All of the series are really good. Skyrim is... Oh, okay, okay. Um, 300 hours? That's so impressive. You find me through the category? Oh, of course. Oh, I, I honestly, I appreciate raids of all sizes. And I think it means so much if people choose to, like, you know, bring their community over. It's, like, a big honor on Twitch. So we always, I think me and, like, the mods and the community try to do the best we can to, like, hype everyone up who, who comes on by. 
I, I try to do my best anyway. Um, so I'm glad you feel welcomed here. Um, first playthrough is at normal difficulty. Um, second was ultra hard on new game. It's funny how they have so many modes. I was so shocked when I was starting my playthrough. It was like hard, ultra hard, super hard, mega hard. I know they didn't actually say that, but there are just so many versions. <laughs> Completion run, fun. Platinum trophy that run, that's so exciting. Scratch start, wow. The running mechanic is kind of wonky. Yeah, I've noticed that with the run as well. Yeah, and that's the thing. I, I think I have a few fast travel packs and I'm just not using them because I find you... I don't know, you come across the most things when you sort of just run around on foot. I did that with Breath of the Wild too. I I didn't really like... When I was like Korra hunting and stuff, I never liked to um, use a horse because I find there's so many little things you can miss. <coughs> Yeah, it's so sweet. Mm. Yeah, yeah, of course. Everyone is so welcome here. We're so happy to have everyone here. Timeline is your name too? Okay, good to know. Good to know. Hello, sweetie. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. I'm real crazy later on. That's... Oh, in, um, in Horizon? In Horizon? Yeah. I'm, I feel like the combat in, like, the game is gonna, like, really pick up and probably the types of machines I deal with and that just makes me nervous so I'm happy I'm just trying to like over level myself in the beginning um so yeah no you're totally good isn't that funny hello sweetie sometimes I go on along on a raid and I have to step away and like I tune in late too you're perfectly on time no worries <laughs> one to two watchers on ultra you fight the whole force oh so they actually spawn more enemies in that's wild um Everyone was early. I love that. Hitting the run key because she takes a heel pot or runs over a rock and stops running. Yeah. The running, yeah, it seems to not, like, last very long. Not timeline, just T. Oh, TL. Sorry, I don't know why I read that as timeline. I'm sorry. <coughs> and TL is your name, too. Okay. I don't know why I read that as timeline. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was like, nice to meet you, timeline. TL. Okay, so I'll call you um, TL then. Thank you for letting us know. A lot of people do that. so funny. It's funny. You see certain, like, letters together and you, your mind just automatically, like, you know, associates it with something. The life. Oh, I like that. Nice. You shortened it. Cool. Combat is action-packed. Yeah, I was saying how the map is... I like how it's open world, like Breath of the Wild, but it's like you've got to be stealthy in this map. There are enemies everywhere. Even on, like, normal mode. Oh, I love that. Um, so TL knows I'm lurking. Oh, well, thank you for coming along on the raid. Yeah, so right now we basically, um, we were working on the main story. We got to, um, I don't even know how to explain where I was in the main story. I forget everyone's names. Oh, hello. But and then I just sort of backtracked to the beginning area. Because I won't. You're okay. I want to do these early side quests I ran past. Have I not been constant as the river flows? Have I not kept the vows as the stones do? Think dark. Show me your grace, O oh mother, and provide for me once more. I hunted these rabbits before, Grata. Here, they're yours. O oh mother, your voice cracks like the distant thunder. <laughs> I hear the sounds of grief, O oh mother. You good, Greta? Crawl, but I left my prayer beads atop the eastern oak. I am afraid. Wait at your camp for me, Greta. I'll see what I can do. Um, hopefully the light's good. I've been having some issues with some lighting recently. I think it should be good though. Hopefully. Hope for the best. Let's see. Gonna lurk for a bit. Grab some dinner. Thank you for thank you for being so kind. Oh, thank you. I'm definitely gonna come check out your streams and drop you a follow. And I encourage everyone to do the same. You you seem so so nice. Um, I'm looking forward to getting to know you more and chatting more. Have a great rest of your evening and enjoy dinner. Bye.
Thank you for lurking, sweetie. Go to the Overlook Climb. Okay. The side quests are so fun how there are a few steps to them. I, I Honestly, though, if I end up trying to go for 100% or close to it, I'm going to probably grind a bunch of the side quests off stream. Because it's not like... I don't really think they'll have anything to do with the main story, so it's not like anyone's going to miss much. Because if I do this all on stream, I'm going to be playing this game for so long. I think the main story stuff is more engaging for stream anyway. Thank you for lurking. But since I'm already in it now, um, we'll just like keep going. I'll still do some side stuff on stream. Okay, so I'm trying to pick up her beads. There are some monsters around here. Okay. Oh gosh. Do not perceive me. Do not perceive me. Do not perceive me. I didn't mean to do that. That's so nice. I gotta be careful. Wait, where am I trying to go right now? I'm trying to go over here. I'm trying to go up there. Nighttime is so scary. Oh my goodness. I can cut this way a little bit, right? Yeah, I'm gonna cut through here. Yeah, this will be nice. I'll just gain some more like XP and stuff. Now they're hunting me. And then maybe tomorrow, maybe if I'm like having so much fun with this, I'll get off stream and like eat, take Evie out, get some stuff done. And maybe I'll play a bit tonight. And maybe tomorrow we'll kind of just jump back into main story stuff. We'll have to see. Super spoopy, right? And like the music just makes it very intense. I like the fireflies, they're pretty. I'm trying to collect everything too. Like that. Oh! Should I get a kill? Why not? Uh, I don't really think I'm hiding in tall grass. Yeah, he's gonna see me right away. I That wasn't very smart of me. I thought it was... The grass was taller. <gasps> oh my gosh, you just made that my life so much easier! Oh, they do! I love little, little quality of life tips like that. Oh my gosh, you're right! Because sometimes, what just happened to me, I thought I was in tall grass, but when I was in it, I realized I wasn't. But sometimes from a distance, it's hard to tell. Thank you so much. I love, like, little little tips like that so much. That's such a neat little thing feature. Oh my god, look how beautiful this game is, and we're on, like, the lowest resolution. It's just so immersive. And I've heard, I did watch in a YouTube video. I see, I'm still a beginner player, so I like having a lot on the screen. But I've heard that if you want it to feel more immersive. Um, oh, what did I just do? Did I just do something? There is a setting you could do where the things on your screen go away unless you actually need them. And it just makes it seem more, I don't know. Display. V-Sync. Um, I don't actually know the feature, but it's not graphics. General. Dynamic. Apparently switch to dynamic. And then I, I go back. And look, things on your screen disappear until you oh my light until you need them but i i think because i'm still getting used to it i think i like having everything for now sorry i've been having so many light issues so i might i might just suddenly you know 
it might go dark every so often. <laughs> That's okay. <clears throat> a good pretty world. Yeah, look, it just makes it so much more immersive. It's not so busy. But again, I'm still pretty new, so I think I get nervous not seeing my health constantly. But I, I think if you wanted a more immersive experience, it makes a big difference. Look, it's it just doesn't block that much. You'll forget what button does what- yeah, I think this makes me like more nervous than it should. I think I actually like having everything displayed at all times, but it's like it's cool it gives you the feature. Always on. Cool. Yeah, I, I like seeing everything. I like seeing everything. Portrait mode in the game to where you can pose Aloy? Really? Wow! Body pose, facial expression. I was gonna say, I've seen pictures of her, like, holding up the... Chucking up the deuces. And I was like, that, did someone Photoshop that? Because why would she do that? Oh, that's so cool. It's like Animal Crossing. You can make them pose. But... There's so many neat little things in this game. And it's just like Link in Breath of the Wild, too, actually. Oh, that's so cool. I really like that. I am getting kind of hungry. So I think I'm gonna... Maybe try to wrap up this quest. Maybe go back to, um... Ross home. And that might be a good point to, uh... To maybe wrap up. I do think I'm gonna wrap up soonish. So that's my plan. I want to finish this quest. So get whatever I have to get here. Maybe bring it back to her, wherever she was. Greta, 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 Greta was over here. Maybe scale up here if I'm able to. And then maybe do this side quest. <coughs> Get some food, yeah. And now I feel good that I kind of like brought up the idea of... I, I'm torn about playing this on and off stream. Because I never want people to feel like they're missing out if I play things off stream. But you were all pretty chill with it. So I think maybe I'll do that. If I'm not streaming, I might grind some, like, side quests and things like that off stream. Just so, you know, the main when I stream, it, it could just be main story stuff for the most part. Uh, I'm not gonna walk through that. No thanks. <laughs> food is good. Yeah, food is good. I think I'm gonna make a, like, a burrito or something. Two words should rhyme, right? You're back. Welcome back, Joel. I hope your noms are good, or I hope they they are good if you're currently eating them. And thanks for being here, Gore. I'm happy I'm like just doing some side stuff now, though, because there's a lot to learn in this game, um, and I feel like I'm starting to get the feel for it, the combat and like just basic controls. Anyway, the first stream I was so so lost. <coughs> It's a, it's a big learning curve. This game takes you on a journey. Yeah, and I, I feel like it'd be... I don't know. This game is so magical. I, I would definitely like to play some of it off stream, I think. But I, I can like really put more focus into it. I think I'll do that. Like Maybe do some of the side quests and errands off stream. Because I don't think I'll... you know Anything too remarkable will go down in the side quests. That's what I'm worried for. If I stumble into a side quest and it ends up being like really lore heavy... Or important to the story and it's like well shit i didn't stream that but that's okay i can always like fill everyone in i always overthink it are we ending i'm i'm coming up for like a, a game plan until i end stream so i think i want to do like one or two more quests and then we'll probably uh we'll probably like end i like the silent strikes it's fun to lure your prey over Uh, where the heck am I trying to go? So I think I'm going to try finishing this quest I'm doing. Uh, which is this way. And then maybe visit Ross' house. Visit his grave. See if that does anything for us. Gosh, this the music is so beautiful too. Oh, is this where I did my proving? I don't think it is, but it was something. It was like similar. Where I have to scale, like, the side of a mountain. 
Gosh, like the parkour aspect of this game is so satisfying. Whoa, look at her go. She's so cool. Can I climb the vines? How cool. I'm scaling a mountain. One whole hour. Wow. Can you believe I've been streaming for one hour? I forget what the time was at before stream uh, died. I think it was like two and a half coming up to three. Longer, probably. I've actually been going for a while. Jen, hello! It's so wonderful to see you! Lurking while I get a quick dinner ready? Thank you so much for lurking! Oh, I hope you're doing well. Always so nice to, to chat. And I hope you have a good dinner. And I appreciate you popping in to say hi and for lurking. Stuffs are expensive, yeah. I... I don't... Wow, you can climb on top of these. To jump higher, make bigger jumps. How cool. This is so satisfying. Oh my gosh, if Aloy was a real person, she'd literally be the coolest person I knew. You don't get much cooler than this. You will love Silent Strike, really, on Eldra? Hi, Bootless! I'll take your word for it, uh, Gora. Have good noms, Jen. Side quests are important. Max skills without it? Interesting. I'm just... I'm worried about doing too much of them off stream. Just because I don't want to, like... I do think it's special to experience side quests and things like that um, on stream. But there's so much to do in this game. I could probably get away with, like, grinding off stream up even just a little bit. Get some rest when you want. Thank you, friend. 3.5 hours ago? Oh shoot. So I have been going for a, wh a while. Oh shoot, okay. 7.45 here. It do be 8.45 for me. It's a cool little spot. <clears throat> yeah, I might I might call it soon. Okay, so this I've got to get this for Grata. Her beads. Grata's prayer beads. Now I've got to go back to her, right? Yeah, this is a pretty view. The music's so beautiful. Can I swing down? Repel down. She's so cool. I would never do that. Ah, well, how do I get down from here? Oh, I guess I can just go around. <laughs> uh, maybe not that side. Sometimes you forget how it be, right? Oh, that's why I'm loving this game, though. It's just like, I'm getting so lost in it. I, I don't think I've had, like, a sense of exploration. Um, in a game like this, uh, since Breath of the Wild, and this game is starting to make me, like, feel that. Like, I just want to keep playing and exploring. Set OBS up to record when you're doing off-stream stuff. Then if you feel it's important, you could edit it down and drop it on YouTube. Yeah, I do... Um... I do have, um... Sorry, I just wanted to silence strike. <clears throat> I do have a, a YouTube. There will be a link for it in that if anyone's interested. I try my best to actually uh, edit down, like, all of my playthroughs and highlight videos. I'm so behind on it. I'm like a, a two, a, two, three games behind. Like right now, I'm like still trying to edit through Nino Kuni stuff. But um, that's a good point. If I'm, if I feel like there's anything really cool <coughs> that goes down, I could just like direct people to YouTube if they do want to see like a, a full playthrough. Oh, but you were saying for things I do off stream. I do know. Yeah, I could. That's true. That's a good point. I could open the software. Wow, he do be climbing. He just climbed so... That was so vertical. Um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, I always forget that's a feature. You can open up uh, your streaming platform and you can record through the platform even when you're not actively streaming. And then I, I could just edit that footage down. I never thought of that. The world in this game feels very alive. That's a good way to put it. It does feel very alive. Oh! Oh, I don't know what I just did there. I clicked the wrong button, but I... I I guess it worked. 
and I do be like that when I'm at work. Yeah, I'm pretty hungry, so I don't I don't want to push myself. I've been liking the small the shorter streams lately, because I, I used to do like five six hours as my norm, and I I find I would get off stream like really burned out. Um, so I've been liking doing more like, you know, two to four hour streams recently. It's just, you know, it just feels like lighter. So I, I do think I'm gonna try to stick to it for a bit. I'm gonna try to get off after this quest. I think. I'm nervous. Why am I going the wrong way? I keep like losing track of the of where I'm meant to go. There's just so much to look at. Go see a doctor. Oh gosh, I hear it. sounds. Do not perceive me. Someone is perceiving me. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh gosh. This is this is not safe. <laughs> um, let me let me uh, alt tab. I'm missing so much. Uh, that's, thank you, that's such a, that's, that's so true, Steria. <laughs> if it goes the other way. Mimi speaks facts, always. It's beautiful. Yeah, I really like the design, like the art style of these creatures. Backward one at work. Kenzo, thank you for that Risa. What a good climber, right? Kenzo, how are you doing? Thank you so much for that resub. I really appreciate it. Oh, and that's true. Twinkle 38, hype twinkle 38, flower. Oh, thank you, Kenzo. I appreciate that. Thank you for that resub. Welcome back for your third month. How are you doing? Thank you. Um. Yeah, with a clip. I could definitely do that. True, that's an option too, big dog. Oh, really? They added little things like that in the sequel? Oh, I, little like details like that really enhance a gameplay experience. Kenzo, I hope you're having the best day. Thank you so much for that resub. It's good to see you. Okay, um, yeah, I think we're probably gonna wrap up with this quest and then um this won't go quietly. Oh gosh. I'm I've been seen. So I might as well just book it. Uh, I might as well just book it. See ya. Oh gosh, I'm stressed. Oh gosh, this is not good. <laughs> See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. Okay, I think this one is this Animal Crossing? I think so. I'm just running around my island. Wow, yeah, this is the most I've seen her run in one go. I always assumed like you ran out of stamina or something because she'd always trip over things when I tried it in other areas. No worries. Oh my gosh, it is late for you. Have a wonderful sleep, Commander. It was really nice meeting you. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing you around more. There's Grata, all alone with all mother. The only way she knows. <laughs> Have a wonderful sleep. They do be having mechanical animals though. True. Yeah, imagine if we're strolling, we just see Ribot, Cephalobot. They would fit right in. <laughs> it's Ribot in this game. Hear your prayer beats, Grata. Be careful. The embrace isn't as safe as it was. Have a good night. Oh, mother. <gasps> Each morning I find your tears of joy speckling the leaves. Joy. At the beauty of all you have made. See how I cry now with you in gratitude. Grata. For a long time, Rost and I helped Rost. you. Rost. But, uh, Rost is gone now. I have to pause because this is something we talked about last stream. I feel like they, um... Last stream, I stumbled, I skipped a main story thing and went to the main story step after it. I don't, I don't know. And uh, the dialogue was interesting. So we were talking about it in chat, how it seems like this game programs different dialogue for different scenarios, which is such a neat attention to detail because technically you could do things at a different pace. So this side quest was, be it became available to us, like literally at the start of the game from ross he was like you should do this before you go to the proving or whatever 
Um, and they just program they programmed in dialogue. She's like, Rost is gone now. And if you did it early on in the game, I wonder what she would have said because Rost would have still been alive. So it's just so interesting that it's like you get different dialogue depending on when you do things. So I thought that was interesting. <laughs> For one from Best Buy. <laughs> Imagine uh, stealth striking robot. Oh no. Time starts going backwards. Oh no. I hope you have, um, you know, good luck with it. That sounds rough. Trying to get a PC. I have more questions. Yeah, that would be me. PC stuff is so confusing. Yeah, I wish I could help. I'm so lost when it comes to PC stuff. Um, I'm pretty thankful I had, like, my, you know, we bought our, like, we got our setup from my sister's fiance. He was really good with computer stuff, and he helped set everything up for me. Otherwise, I don't know if I ever would have been able to stream. I don't think I could have figured out, like, PC stuff. <clears throat> and it's so slow. Shoot. And I've been made a seeker. I need you to be strong, Grotta. If not for Ross or me, then for all mother. Okay? All mother. So many of your saplings and fledglings grow, become strong, then pass from my sight. It is your will, and the memories are my treasure. Hear me as I count our completed errand. So let's see now. Quest main completed. And this is main story. Um, so if I want to go to side quests, completed, and then errands, completed a thousand XP. Cool. Game completed, 10.18%. We did a solid, like, percent today. <laughs> and the rest just running around. Let me see. Um, I'm probably going to wrap up soon, if not now. I just want to kind of figure out what I'm going to do next. What's this side quest? Let me look at it on the map. So that's all the way up there. So I do think I'm going to stick with my game plan of going here. And then just like taking a shortcut down there. And I want to see what's here. And explore this area. God, this map is so cool. You can actually... It's like 3D almost. You can see the mountains and everything. You don't notice zoomed out. But when you zoom in and pan over it, it's like... It has like a raised effect. That's so cool. Let's find out. Um, a really, oh shoot, Gamer Girl, let's go. So expensive too, yeah. Can I run? I love that. Maybe, I think, maybe let's get up to my place with Ross. That would be a wholesome ending to stream. We pay tribute at his grave. I think that would be a, a nice ending point to stream. Exactly where I started the game. <laughs> And the music is so beautiful leading up to it. I love the music. It's so pretty. Gosh, I'm so excited for what this game has to offer. Yeah, I do think I'm going to focus on some main, some like side quests if I ever feel the need to play off stream. Because it, it's interesting cutscenes, but like I, I feel like it's stuff, you don't know. That's, it's not the end of the world if like chat misses it. And then that way I can kind of get to the main story stuff quicker. Aloy, please. Oh, goodness. She's like clipping into this. <laughs> I don't really think I'm meant to be scaling this. It's okay. We're going to figure it out. Oh, gosh. I don't... Maybe not. Maybe I have to take the long way. Come on. This is not that vertical. You can... You got this. Please. Shoot. That was so aggressive. And for what? I want to climb like her, right? Shoot, I might have... It's like... I think I'm at the edge of the map, actually. I think that's why it's glitchy. Her arms must be rock solid. I think this is literally like the, um, the border. 
I was like, it's not that, like, steep. Polish Soul, thank you for the follow. I, this must be the edge of the map. It doesn't make sense. I'm, I'm not at the edge of the map. It's just maybe too steep for her, I guess. It's not that steep. I mean, I've seen her climb some pretty tall hills. I think she could do this. Okay, apparently the game doesn't want me to go this way. <laughs> Canada's on the other side. Shoot, that was the border. Because she is in America, technically. <coughs> the border! Shoot. We gotta get to Canada. She needs a passport. True, she needs a passport and her COVID test results. And then the game will let her go through. Look at this pretty snow. Ooh. Oh, I'm kind of sad. We're going to see my home with Ross. It's still so fresh, you know? Okay. Please, just let me in. Oh my gosh, please. Oh, my home. I think he built all this. Alone. She's reminiscing. So many memories. It's not home anymore. Not without Rost. Oh. There's nothing for me here anymore. That's interesting. You get dialogue if you go back to certain areas after certain parts of the game. This was a nice cozy home for them to grow up in. Like by the mountains. I think this would be a peaceful place to live. Um, where's his grave? The snow's got a bite out here. I don't see it. It's not even on the property? Let's check inside the home. I haven't really been in there, actually. Tim, I hope you're doing well if I didn't say that. Hello. You're leaving play area if you keep going. We'll reload your last save. You're kidding. Oh, snap. That's so bad. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You go visit there sometimes. Oh, this is where we had, like, the very first cutscenes of the game. Yeah, where's the grave? It's back there. We'll visit that after. Oh, shoot, it's, it's locked, so no one can go in there? I can't see my childhood home. Can I bust down the door? I've never seen a Tim's. Of course it's at a hockey arena. Small stand in the hockey arena in Phoenix, that's so funny. Th down in Phoenix. Dang. I've seen way too many Tim's in my day. It's pretty much on every street. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. I, I love it. But it's like, it's just so common here. I don't even think about it. They're literally everywhere. It was interesting. When we went on our road trip to Florida, you it's actually, they have it in a lot of like the the more northern, northern states. Like there were actually a, a decent amount of Tim's in like the Midwest. But it, the more south you went, it was like less and less. And it, was, it wasn't good. It was like we went and stopped it at and some and the menu was so different and like it didn't taste that good it's really good here in my opinion anyway they're donut holes like no they're timbits they're timbits so i guess i can't actually go inside wow he built this on his own it's actually pretty impressive she can do so much parkour but she can't get inside her house <laughs> i used to live in phoenix but not anymore yeah climb the roof there's gotta be secrets, right? Side door? Shoot. I guess I can't actually go inside. I guess it's just meant to be like a nice wholesome place to visit and cherish the memories. Pass through Arizona. <clears throat> I'm in Texas. Yeah, I, Kit, Tim's here are literally on like every street. It's so common. <laughs> okay. What a nice little property. He did a great job. And then I think if I were to try to climb up there, that would probably be the edge of the map. I am so curious. I love how they did the edge of the map in Breath of the Wild. I wonder what happens if you get close to it in Horizon Zero Dawn. 
Will it even let me try? Edge of the map. If you're leaving the play area, you should turn back. If you continue, your last... Oh, this is what you were saying! Your last save game will be reloaded. Oh, they literally just bring you back to your last save. Interesting. Let's not do that. <laughs> Dota holes! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so hot. Holy, stay cool in the summer. Uh, wait, oh. Oh! Um, oh, when you lived in Phoenix. In the southwest. Oh, his grave. Oh, they just put like little things. I can speak to it. Oh. Are those ice cream cones? Those look like drumsticks. Don't they? Let's see what she has to say. I couldn't leave the sacred land without visiting you. When you mm. said goodbye, I told you I'd find you. Track you down. Well, looks like you did it after all. Went somewhere I can't follow. Oh, that's sad. Know you'd be watching. At the proving. Looking out for me. There for me when no one else was. Like always. One last time. Oh. Thank you, Rost. I won't waste what you've given me. I promise. I'll make you proud. Oh, that was really I sweet. Been... Oh, she's still going. Puzzle it out, but nothing makes sense. The killers came after me because I look like this. A woman, older with short hair. Her mom, that's why? what I'm assuming. What's the connection? If she's my mother, then she didn't look Nora, but so if interesting. She lives inside the mountain, how could the killers know about her? The more I learn, the less I understand. That's how I'm feeling. The lore is so interesting. Oh, I can go on. I can go on. She's just letting her, her soul out. East Coast seems nice. I hate hot weather. Yeah, hot weather. It gets really muggy here in the summer where I am. Like we we have really humid summers. And it like gets to like high thirties and like forties sometimes in July. Um only really lasts like a month or two though. But yeah, it gets so like humid and like muggy. I, I hate I hate muggy. I prefer hot over cold though. I, I would rather, like, summer than winter, if I had to choose one or the other, for sure. Plant life here just kind of dies. Oh, because it's just so hot all the time. Things are blooming and it's green. Oh, that so, sounds so nice. Change colors with the seasons. Yeah! Oh, see, that's the thing about living somewhere all hot, because you don't really have, like, season changes, right? It gets so pretty here in fall. We have like the bright leaves and it's so cozy. And then winter is really pretty as much as I like don't really like how long it is and how cold it is. Seeing seasons change is so cool. And that's why when we drove down to Florida, it was like we didn't really notice the weather changing because it was August. But we just noticed as we got more south starting in Georgia, I think you, like, you start seeing palm trees, which is kind of bizarre. But I've heard driving south throughout like in the winter is one of the cool like weirdest things because you gradually see it like get warmer and warmer and the snow melting as the more south you get fall's the best fall's my fave hot and then i guess let's hot yeah fall is so pretty i love like the fall vibes oh i love that i love that okay go on this is a nice wholesome moment let's see what she has to say i need to track down olin an outsider he was at the festival the night before the proving. Somehow, the killers saw me through his focus. And he knew it. He could have warned me. When I find him, well, he's going to tell me everything he knows. 
and he's gonna pay. Well, I guess I should be going. Hmm. I wonder if you can come here periodically throughout the game and if she like updates him. What if I try again? Be going. I'll try to come back soon. I'll, I'll try to come back soon. I feel like as you unlock more main story, you get more dialogue to speaking to Ross Grave. That's really cool. I'll probably do that then. I'll probably like fast travel here as the game goes on. That was really wholesome. Pumpkin uh, cream cold brew. That's what I just love the whole like. <sighs> I don't know if this would be the right word. I was gonna say the whole culture surrounding fall. The vibe surrounding fall, I don't know how I would word it necessarily, but yeah, everything that has to do with fall. Like, yeah, all the, the pumpkin things and just, ah, uh, so cozy. Crash, hi, how's it going? It's so good to see you. Then pumpkin spice latte. Yeah, I'm not big on pumpkin spice lattes, surprisingly. I think there are a lot of other f better fall flavors. Until a few weeks ago. Our trees haven't fully, like, bloomed back yet. The leaves are still pretty bare. I feel like, we just had snow a couple weeks ago. But I think now, it doesn't seem like we're gonna get any more snow. But it's still pretty cold a lot of days. So our leaves are still blooming back. I mean, pumpkin spice lattes are good. I wouldn't say no if someone gave me one. I'd still drink it. But it's not my go-to. You love it? I'm loving it so far, Crash. It's so good. So have you... So you've beaten it before? I think... I'm thinking... <laughs> just flashback to me two streams ago. Guys, I just want to like hurry through this game and get through my backlog. I think I'm just going to like beeline it to the end of the game. And then me today. I think I'm going to go for 100%. I'm having fun. <laughs> um, yeah. See, even now I said I'm going to end stream and I want to just keep going. Let me go to my map and uh, activate this next quest. Oh, it's already activated. And then I want to see what's over here. Do I want to do that today, though? I do be hungry. What? I, it's... There's got to be a quick, efficient way I can get down there. But it's in that direction. <coughs> Let me face this way. <coughs> I want to be going this way. Oh gosh, I think I have to zip line down. I'm not really in a good spot. Snowed, um... Oh, in January, made national news. Oh no. You officially graduated on Saturday. Let's freaking go. That's so exciting. No, you're good. No pressure to ever, ever catch a stream. I know people... <gasps> oh, that looked like she was not going to catch that. Looks like she just dived to her death. But, um... Yeah, no pressure for anyone to tune in. I, I know people have, like, life stuff going on. And that always takes, like, priority for sure. But that's so exciting you're gonna graduate! That's huge! And I'm sure it feels so like a weight off your shoulder. Congrats! That's super cool. <laughs> and you should be really proud of yourself. Um, you started your new job the day it happened. And all the power went out! That's wild! It was great. The story is great as it unfolds. I'm really excited. Just learning more about her backstory. Because, yeah, we did see that cutscene with a lady who looks like her mom. And it was, like, behind a door that no one can open. So it's like her mom was from a different tribe. And, well, this is just speculation. Which, I, I don't know. I could be totally wrong or totally right. But the games make it seem like, uh... Her mom's from a different tribe and, like put her on the other side of this magic door i don't know our ginger is all good with bow and arrow true like merida from brave it's over it's the best feeling when you when you graduate i'm really proud of you okay i do want to end soon i am getting hungry but i just i want to keep going at the same time I don't know what to do. Let me just keep going for a little bit. <laughs> and then I think I maybe I'll I'll probably end pretty soon. Look out below. I really like Aloy too. I like her character. <coughs> oh, 
Whoa, water. Oh, shoot. Okay, it was shallow. It's okay. Um. Oh, there's someone here. You have a side quest for me? No, you're chilling. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, the fireflies do show you the tall grass. Oh, that's so helpful. I think I'm gonna try to go to where... Oh gosh, do I want to do this today? Where's the closest fire? There's one back there. Oh wait, I'm going this way. Uh, maybe I'm gonna save it a fire and like wrap up soon. Cause I'm just gonna want to keep going. Is your favorite hype emote? Oh, I'm, the, I'm so honored, Kenzo. I do love the hype emote. It's great. Don't perceive me. What about high school theater? Yeah, I'm so hungry. I, I don't think I'm gonna do this quest today. I'm really hungry. I wanna get to that that fire on the other side. And then I think we're gonna call it. Um, hype emotes are so fun. About not fin finishing college. I'm in the opposite boat right now. I feel like now that I'm having a hard time getting jobs in my field, I, I'm feeling like I wasted my time and money in school and I'm kind of regretting like finishing it. But everything happens for a reason. I hope it benefits me down the road, finishing my school. But it's not right now. It would make me cry. Haven't looked at a single script. Improv, that's so fun. I love that. Yeah, you're probably great. A script behind set that you refer to. Let me collect this. Oh wait, how far is this place I'm trying to go to? It's far and then I have to go through like a machine camp. Yeah, this is gonna actually take a while. I think we're gonna save. I want to say we had good progress today. But when I think about what I did, we like really didn't have that much. I did like maybe one side or two, one side quest, one errand. No, I did one errand. I think he's good. I think this is the one I took over. No, I think I'm wrong about that. This is not a good place to save. I'm gonna save though. <laughs> okay. I think I'm gonna save here. I'm nervous. Oh gosh. I'm, when I reload this game next time, I'm gonna be like mid fight. <laughs> I think he just saw me. Oh god. Okay. We're gonna call it there. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then we're gonna end stream. I'm gonna close out of this. Um, we could probably raid someone. I'll see who's on. <clears throat> yeah, it's a really good game. It's really good. For the first, after the first five years of college. Um, wait, let me scroll up a bit. <clears throat> Still haven't finished? That's okay. Everything happens for a reason. <laughs>